Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at switch statement in JavaScript. Uh, I've opened up my JS Fiddle window and first I'll write some syntax to show you what it looks like and then we'll look at some real examples. So this is what it looks like, switch and then you write some expression here. And uh, this expression is inside uh, round brackets and then you have these curly braces inside which you write the main code. And here you have different cases. So like let's say there's case zero and then some code block is executed right and then this statement called break i'll explain to you what this uh, means exactly then there's case one then you have some other code block that executes then you have break again then you have case two then you have some other code block then you have break again then you have something called as default and then you have some other code block now what's happening here is basically you take an expression here well, once i'll show you a real example you'll know what uh, expression means basically so and you can switch between different cases right so if it's uh, the uh, this case is zero then you can execute uh, a particular code block right and then uh, you write a break uh, the statement called break because uh, you want to uh, not if if this condition is met you want to uh, you know exit from this uh, code block you don't want to uh, execute these other cases as well right so that's really important so break statement is pretty important otherwise everything else will also be executed uh, if if uh, you know other conditions are met and then you have default default is basically if none of these conditions are met then the default code code block goes here right here right so now let me show you a real example so that you understand what an expression is right so you have new date here if you've seen my previous video then you know that new date is uh, uh, used to create dates right so there's a video that I have that is uh, re related to JavaScript dates is very helpful you can watch it and then if I say get day here get date uh, get day is a uh, getter function that JavaScript uh, uh, date object gives you where you get today's day right and uh, it gives you a day in such a manner that it, it basically represents a number so if it's zero then it's uh, Sunday if it's one then it's Monday if it's two then it's Tuesday and so on so I'll take a variable called day and I'll say here Sunday right and I, if it's one here I'll say day is equal to Monday if it's two here then I'll say day is equal to Tuesday and then let me put d three and four also so say day three I say Wednesday, then I have day four, which is Thursday. And if it's none of these days, then uh, the default code block I'll write here, I'll define day as none of these days, right? And now what we can do is we can try and output the value of day and see what we get. So we'll get Thursday because today is Thursday, which is four. And so again, I'll just explain to you a switch statement switches between uh, switches for this value. So this value is basically new date, which is today's date and get day, which is Thursday. And it's going to switch between uh, these different cases. And uh, the case that matches this is four, which is Thursday. So today, uh, today becomes Thursday and we output the value, which is Thursday. Now this works very similar to if statement. So in if statement, if you know that you have if and else if and else if and you put all these different conditions, right? So it's very similar to that, but this, this is just a much cleaner uh, syntax so people prefer this more uh, if you have a lot of conditions to check in, uh, in if and else if right so this is a much better way to do it now let me show you a few variations here now if you were to take this right the default statement and put this at the top of the code top of the code block right and if you were to execute this it will still work so this is something i want to show you that default no does not necessarily have to be at the bottom of this code block and this is a syntax that you'll see very commonly if you go through any uh, code on github so that's why i want to sh uh, show it to you once and then uh, you have um, uh, cases for uh, you can have multiple cases uh, executing the same code so let me show you what that means so let's say for case three and case four for both of them we want to execute the same code and we want to say day is equal to midweek right so uh, as you can see case three does not have its own code block here case three and case four both will execute day is equal to midweek so let's see if it works so it's, it's it says midweek which basically case four since it's case four it's midweek today so this also works so this is something also that's very common because you can have the same code block running for multiple conditions 
right so let me show you something interesting so let's say var x is equal to 0 right and I'll define a variable called text I'll say not defined yet right and I'll instead of switching this I'll switch x and I'll just have two conditions here case 0 and case 1 right and for case 0 if it's case 0 I'll say text is equal to off if it's case 1 I'll say text is equal to on right and I'll output the value of text and now what should happen what do you think should happen because we have the value of x is 0 right and the case is 0 right so we're just switching the value of 0 so the case is 0 then text should become off and we're outputting text so we should get uh, the value of off here right in the output but no we get not defined yet why is this happening uh, that's because uh, it's it's a very important uh, thing to note basically that switch uh, statement in javascript always uses hard comparison which is three different uh, three, three is equal to's instead of using soft comparison which is two is equal to's so if you've seen one of my previous videos where i discussed this concept uh, hard comparison is basically um, uh, comparing both the value and the type of the two uh, variables and not just uh, their value right so both the type and uh, value needs need to be equal for uh, any condition to be met so switch behind the scenes by default is using the hard comparison operator so this is why x is defined as a string and it's not a number so uh, the value is the same but uh, it has to be a number as well only then it has to be uh, you know if, if it were, were a string then it would work but if it's a number here and string here it won't work right so i hope that was useful and uh, if you're liking these videos do subscribe and thanks a lot for watching